Hey friends and welcome back. It's 8-Bit Gazebo here. And we're starting a new Stardew Valley run. Um, so, it's been a while. I'm going to do a solo run. I'm probably going to continue. This is loud. Um... We're just gonna mute the sound for now. Um, but I'm probably going to continue the uh, co-op run with F at some point. Um, but we're going to get started here with just like a fairly basic character, I guess. Is that like a collared shirt? Sure. Um, eye color. I suppose this doesn't make a huge difference on it, does it? Hair color needs to be, like, a darker brown. And, uh... I'll turn the sound back on just in case there's anything in this intro. Um... for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Can I, can I take it? There we go. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. How old are we in this scene? Because um, this seems like a lot. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. D Part of me wants to hope this character is like just a young kid who understands nothing of what's going on. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. that in the picture is I'm assuming that's our grandmother no did say something else at the bottom I was distracted by the background art Joja join us thrive work hmm. yep normal office normal office terminated cowboy with soda and medications um, tired guy me. Oh, okay, you can kind of see the little side of my eye. I guess I was pa passed out at the desk. I see. Dear Gazebo, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Solo Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? This is a very blue screen.
Hello, you must be Gazebo. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I think I chose a bad shirt. I can... Yeah, I don't like this shirt. I liked it at first. Yeah. No. This is a solo farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Sure. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Gazebo. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> the loudest rooster in existence. I'm going to mess with the audio real quick. That's about where I keep it normally. Just so I don't get drowned out in my monologuing. Parsnip seeds. You've received 15 parsnip seed. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Cool. Okay. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Greet 28 people, technically 26. I'll clear up a little bit of land here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, the way I'm going to record this series is I'm probably going to post one in game day at a time. But I'm going to record multiple days at a time. So, I'm going to record more than I post. And we'll see how it goes from there. Um, I want 
to say one of my first priorities is getting like some sort of organization system started. Because uh, I tend to uh, lose things. I'm probably not going to talk a lot through this whole series except for like explaining what I'm doing and reading out text and all that, but... Okay, let's see. Crafting. Um, somewhere out of the way, I guess. Just kind of here. Visit Gunther at the museum. <clears throat> okay, so it tells you birthdays and holidays and all that. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Okay. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to the old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. Hey, it's Mr. Gazebo, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. I can't speak today. <laughs> um, let's see. No. Just so I can make a little bit more profit going into this. Uh, let's five more of these and oh well, I don't know like five of these um. Let's see, Gunther. Abysmal, not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in great detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Okay. I can do that. Do, do. Which room seems the most prehistoric? This one. Or 
archaeology. Ooh. M money. We like money. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. Um, what's up this way? Nope. Joja Cola, fuel your life. This whole building reeks of uh, corporation. Join us, thrive. I don't think I will. Who's this? Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. And you are... Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Oh, that, that's it. Okay, bye, Sam. That guy had anime hair. Scary. <laughs> oh, let's buy a few more seeds, I guess. Ooh, new people. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. This is, hello, you must be Gazebo. I'm uh, the, new, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. I think I have, yes. <laughs> um, can I afford? I can, no. I can afford five of those. really get the uh, farm started, you know? Surely nothing could go wrong here. Oh, did I just... Oh. <laughs> I made myself pass out in the field. Oops. Oops. <laughs> 